The BAC Mono is an exquisite creation designed purely for the purpose of driving enjoyment. Conceived by the Briggs Brothers from Liverpool and made unashamedly in Great Britain, it's arguably the most focused road car money can buy. It's also very, very quick. In standard guise, the Mono is the fastest road car we've ever timed round Anglesey by over two seconds. But this new R version has a bit more power, a bit less weight, and theoretically even more speed to unleash. Absolutely nothing else like a BAC Mono. This Mono R, I mean it still feels fundamentally like that original car, but it's just taken the game to another level in terms of performance, in terms of cost for sure. It's about £215,000 this car. But there's nothing else like it. Well they say it's got 342 horsepower, but this thing back here, up there, that's producing a kind of ram air effect at speed and they reckon they get another seven or eight horsepower out of it so let's call it a nice round 350 horsepower it weighs 555 kilograms dry so still comfortably under 600 kilograms ready to go not with me in it but that's a lot of power for that much weight it's not a crazy amount of power for that much weight that was always, you know, absolute nutcase straight line performance was never the Mono's USP. It was always about the beautiful balance between power, between suspension refinement. This is effectively a Formula 3 car, except it's way more sophisticated than a Formula 3 car. But it's kind of gizzards and the way the transmission is designed and mated to the engine out the back. The double wishbone suspension all round. It's all really high-end single-seater technology in this car. Then you mate it to a set of reasonably trick P0 tires, which aren't actually that good because they're not set up for a car that weighs as little as this, which is why I'm gonna try it on the slicks and we're gonna time it on the slicks. It's about precision, it's about accuracy, it's about snap of turn-in response how late you can brake, how soon you can get on the throttle. The traction in this thing is off the dial. The speed this thing has got is off the dial. So before we get the stopwatch out, BAC's Ian Briggs explained to me about how and why it's been improved. This is the new generation car. This is, we've launched the new generation with Mono R. It's a completely new car. There's almost nothing the same. I'm trying, I'm racking my brains trying to pick something, but uh, um, so the chassis is new, the suspension, all the geometry is new, um, more anti-dive, more anti-squat. The wishbones themselves are all much more aerodynamic tubing. I mean, it, it goes on and on and on really. I mean, from, from the chassis out, just behind your feet and to just behind the driver yeah. is actually a steel structure. Right. It's tested to F1 regulations for, for, for roll protection and side impact and things. Um, and around that is this carbon graphene body. We're the first manufacturer to do that. So just as a comparison, we saved nine kilograms on the bodywork going to graphene. 44 body panels and everyone's new. The gearbox is the Hewland FTR. It's the same gearbox as this car, but it's with a magnesium case. Of course, new ratios because it revs to a 9,000 RPM. The, the normally aspirated engine, uh, titanium exhaust, magnesium bell housing. It's actually got 3D printed uh, inlet runners. So again, one of the first production cars to use carbon fiber reinforced 3D printed inlet runners. So we're using plastic runners to support the airbox. Compared to the car you drove, it's, it's about a 40 kilogram weight improvement over that generation car. That already had things like carbon brakes, carbon wheels, which had already saved weight over the car you drove. So I'm gonna say, Compared to the car you drove 10 years ago, it's about 60 kilos lighter and it's about 70 horsepower more. But still fundamentally the same car. Yeah, I mean, in concept, in the same way that the 911 yeah. from today is still the same car as 10, 20 years ago. I mean, this is lovely now. Where, where do you go next? Do you just gradually and progressively evolve this car? So we've got a turbocharged version. We call it Mono F for forced induction. As the project started, we weren't sure if it was going to be supercharged or turbo. We went turbo in the end. 
Um, it's essentially the same car. It won't have the exotic materials in the exhaust, in the gearbox case and things. There's, you know, they'll become options. This being a limited series car has got everything we could do to, to save weight. And so we went as far as we could go. Crazy stuff. <laughs> Great. Thanks, mate. I wish you the very best of luck with Thank that. Thank you. Appreciate it. So with the belts done up tight and a fresh set of P0 slicks that had been toasting in some tyre warmers for the previous half hour fitted, here is your lap. So there you go, 1 minute 6.9, and that includes one big-ish slide that probably cost a good couple of tenths on its own, plus a track that was quite grubby in places. Stitch all the best sectors together to form a perfect theoretical lap, and we reckon the Mono R would have done a 1 minute 6.5. Either way, the BAC Mono R really is the king of Anglesey, and I don't reckon it will get beaten by anything anytime soon. And all this from a car with just 342 bhp. There's a lesson in here somewhere. 